Associates. I'm the business manager here. Congratulations on your new purchase. Thanks, man. We do appreciate your business. Uh, may I join you? Please, sir. All right, thank you. So, Peter, as a business manager here, I have three major uh, primary responsibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is to review and complete all your paperwork. The second is to uh, go over your financial options. And the third, of course, is to answer any questions that you may have. The whole process should take about 45 minutes. Um, may I begin? Yes, sir. Okay, sure. So what we're going to start out with is um, to, this is the legal uh, for titling. I just need to verify that this is your uh, correct legal name and address, current yeah, address. That's here. right. Okay, that's great. Right. And uh, who's going to be the primary driver of the vehicle? I will be. All right, great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And um, what made you select the uh, 18 uh, Yukon? Uh, the 18 Yukon, I actually really like the uh, the technology and a really powerful engine. Okay, yeah, a lot of people Powerful say engine, actually. Okay. And um, how many miles uh, a year do you usually drive on that vehicle? Uh, about 12,000 miles per year. Okay. And I did notice that there's 45 miles uh, on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to take it uh, for a test drive? Oh, yeah, a test drive. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, while you were out on the test drive, did you... Um, by chance, take a look at all the new technology that yeah, you Yeah, it steered me back in the lane when I was getting out of my lane. It was awesome. Okay, great. And uh, what was the what was the, your favorite part about the technology? Oh, I got to say it was the lane assist and then the stopping in traffic. That was cool. Okay. And again, uh, I asked you about the miles. How many miles did you say you're putting on a year? I think about 12,000. Okay. And how, how often do you usually keep your vehicles? We keep our cars every six years and we're out. Okay. And as far as servicing is concerned, were you coming to the dealership for service? No, I, I got a Jiffy Loop right around the corner from my house. Okay, that's no problem. Um, if it were more affordable and um, convenient for you, is that something that you would consider? I'd consider, yeah, okay. consider it. Yeah, I'd consider it. Okay, great. Uh, we're going to go into uh, your insurance uh, deductibles. Um, so what I'd like to do is ask if you have any... Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask you if you have uh, your uh, comprehensive insurance. Do you know what your deductibles are? Yeah, my insurance is $500. And your insurance company, do you know if they have any discounts on theft deterrent products? I think they do. Okay, I think they great. Do. And I'm going to go over some figures here for you, Peter. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are the uh, the numbers that you agree to. Mm -hmm. This is your down payment of $1,000, and this is your un, um, unpaid balance. Okay. Okay. Um, so a lot of times uh, the bank will ask if, um, if the bank may ask if there's any additional funds you could put down for a down payment. Is that something that you could do? Not tomorrow? right now. Okay, I'm that's struck. Okay, that's no problem. And uh, the next uh, few questions I'd ask you are a little bit personal in nature. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to move to a more private office, or are you comfortable here? Let's just do it here. Okay, that's great. Um, so the first thing I want to verify is uh, your employment. Mm -hmm. um, I see you work at uh, IBM. Yep. You've been there for seven years. Yep, that's right. And uh, you make $8,000 a month. I do. Is that before or after taxes? That's before taxes are taken out. Okay, all right, great. And that, is that income verifiable, pay stubs, oh, yeah. W-2s? Yeah, yeah, Okay. And do you have any other verifiable income at this point? Nah, it takes a long time. Okay. The next thing that we're going to go over is uh, your, your credit. Okay. Um, how would you characterize your credit? Uh, would you consider it good, poor, or somewhere in between? You know, it's somewhere in between, I think. Okay. All right. And I'm reviewing it. As I was reviewing it, I did notice that there was um, a late payment. It was mm -hmm. a, a Costco, 90 days late. Yeah. Um, could you explain a little bit what happened there? Uh, my, my wife was supposed to pay it. She thought I was going to pay it. Okay. For three months, we didn't, you know, got lost in the shuffle. Okay. Yeah, that, ha that does happen sometimes. Yeah. And it's current now? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. And the other, the other one I did see was an uh, auto loan. That was for 30 days. Um, is that is that taken care of? Yeah, my kid was supposed to be making the payments and they forgot, so okay, we got it. So you're you're all caught up now. Yeah, and you don't foresee any other problems. No, we're good now. I promise. I, put, I made her put it on auto pay. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> so Peter, um, I gather all the information I think that I need right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the um, my, my office and mm -hmm. prepare all the paperwork for Perfect. it. Perfect. Should take about 20 minutes. Good. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to have uh, your salesman Tommy. He's going to come by, introduce you to, to some folks in the service department, take you for a tour, and set up your first uh, uh, oil change. Perfect. Um, do you have any questions uh, before uh, before I uh, turn them over to you? Where's the bathroom? Uh, it's right down the hall on the left. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Keep it going. Hi, Peter. 
Welcome again. back, you Thank too. You. How was your tour of the uh, service department? Oh, it was great. I got my 5K all scheduled and everything. We're okay. ready to go. All right, great. How would how they treat you over there? Oh, like I was royalty, man. All right, that's great. Um, so, Peter, uh, one of the things to do is I have very important information to go over with you. Okay. Um, I'd like to start out with um, with this document. Um, may I proceed? Sure. Okay. So Peter, here, here, are the, here are the numbers, uh, the figures that you agree to. Mm -hmm. um, here is um, your term, mm -hmm. your rate, and uh, your, your base payment. Okay. Um, you can take delivery, once you let you know, you can take delivery at that payment with approved credit. Okay. However, uh, based on the discussion we had earlier, that may not be the best option for you. Okay. Um, there are other uh, options available for you, and it's my responsibility to, to review those with you. Perfect. Um, may I get started? Please. Okay. So, right here, by choosing the preferred option, uh, you would receive uh, the vehicle service contract. So what that is, it's a uh, 60 months, 75,000 miles, uh, $50 deductible. It covers like mechanical, electrical, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. All right, the next, uh, the next benefit is uh, tire and wheel protection. Okay. Uh, what that covers is um, repairs any um, tires or uh, rims or anything of that that are due to a road hazard. Let's say you're driving down the road, you hit a pothole, a nail, a screw, mm -hmm. or you curb, yeah. you curb, yeah. you curb your wheel, right? Yeah. Um, this will actually take care of it and there's a zero deductible. Perfect. Uh, the next one is GAP. Have you heard about uh, GAP? Uh, no. Okay. What GAP is, um, you bet that there's a total loss on your vehicle. <coughs> um, the, the bank actually has the loan, outstanding loan balance. The insurance company at that time will um, actually deem what the vehicle's worth. So what GAP does is protect protects you from the balance in between that mm -hmm. you would actually owe. Um, so that that's what that would be for, and they also pay up to a thousand dollar deductible. Okay. Okay. Uh, next is uh, theft protection. Uh, what theft protection does is we etch all the windows in uh, in your vehicle. We we put a, a security code on that. The event that it's uh, uh, stolen and it's unrecoverable, uh, we will pay you five thousand dollars. Okay. The next is uh, the appearance. Mm -hmm. um, so what the appearance protection does, it, it's, uh, it, it's um, a clear coat for your exterior mm -hmm. and uh, on your interior. So the exterior, it protects you against sap, bugs, uh, road tar, um, you know, road salt, uh, things of that nature, UV fading. Mm -hmm. On the interior, it uh, protects you against punctures, rips, tears, burns, and mm -hmm. uh, any kind of uh, stains that you can't get out of your, your fabric. Mm -hmm. If that were to happen, uh, they restore it back to the, the factory uh, settings then. And this will be your uh, payments down. Okay. Here. Okay. Um, do you have any questions at all before I move over to the value option? No, I'm clear on the preferred. Okay. So by choosing the value option, you receive all the, all the benefits from the preferred option. However, you do forfeit the appearance, uh, appearance uh, I'm sorry, appearance option. Uh, so what that means to you is, uh, let's say um, you're going to work one day, you have your coffee in one hand, you have your pen in your pocket, Every you day. sit down, right? Every day. Um, you have a small puncture, it, the ink is all over the seat, you spill your coffee, uh, uh, it's one of those days, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so what, ha what happens is you're going to be responsible uh, not only to, you know, to repair and to get that cleaned, and if it doesn't actually come out, uh, then it could be, uh, it could devalue uh, your, the cost of your vehicle. Mm. Um, so, the by choosing the basic package, I'm sorry, here's your payments here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, by choosing the basic um, option, you uh, have the same benefits as the value, mm -hmm. uh, the value option. However, you do forfeit your theft protection. Mm -hmm. uh, so what that means to you is you're it's a busy holiday. Uh, you're out shopping. Um, next thing you know, you turn around, your vehicle stolen. Um, it's unrecoverable after 30 days. Uh, we wouldn't, um, you would not receive that $5,000 um, in a check to help maybe go towards a uh, yeah, down payment of another vehicle. Okay. And these are your uh, payment options down here. Uh, the next one is the, um, so by choosing the economy option, same, uh, same benefits as the basic option. However, you will forfeit uh, the gap option. Um, so what, by forfeiting gap, what that means to you is, uh, the event that, God forbid, you're in an accident, your fault or another person's fault, the vehicle's actually totaled. Um, what that means is um, you're going to have, you're still responsible for that, that outstanding balance. Uh, the insurance company says it's worth X, 
the bank says, hey, this is what you owe on it, unfortunately, you, you have to uh, uh, come up with that, those funds. Mm -hmm. And this is your uh, payment uh, down here. Do you have any questions on any of the options that I've uh, gone over before? Um, before I ask you to choose one. Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, so, Peter, which uh, which one uh, which options would you prefer? You know, let's just stick with the uh, the base payment. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. If you don't mind, could you just circle here and initial? Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I do have a couple forms here for you to sign. Okay. Uh, this is our credit app. If you don't mind, just sign the bottom here. And right here is the odometer statement. Just sign here, please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. So, um, so Pete, I'm just a, I'm just a little bit curious about. If you don't mind, I'll ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Uh, most of my clients who choose the basic um, payment option usually it's because of one of two things: uh, one, the way that the uh, products were bundled, or two, cost. Uh, wh which is it for you? Uh. You know, it's, uh, it's cost. Okay. All right. So I, I understand cost is a, is a concern. Um, if um, let, let me ask you, can I ask you another question? Sure. If cost wasn't an option. Yeah. Okay. If it, uh, which two products are, are on here would you actually, uh, would you choose? Uh, obviously the service contract and okay. probably the gap because I'm not putting much down. Okay. A good choice. Um, so if you don't mind, let me show you this. Um, so Peter, right here is this is this is your gap, uh -huh. and this is the payment. This is a, a vehicle service contract, and this is your payment. Mm -hmm. And this is your payment. Uh, this is what your payment would be for both. Uh, they would only be this. Oh, okay. So looking um, looking at it like this, which makes uh, which makes the most sense for you? Well, probably the gap, man. I mean, it's not that much more. Okay. All right. Well, that that's a good choice. If you don't mind, just circle and initial there, please. Okay. Thank you. So. I do have a couple other forms for you here, if you don't mind. Um, this one's the POA for, uh, for title. Thank you. And this one is the privacy statement. Okay. Thank you. So I'm, I'm just curious, Peter, um, what, uh, what concerns did you have uh, regarding the vehicle service contract? Uh, it was just the cost. Okay. I mean, I just, it's, you know, went from 509 to 575. Right. The cost right. So I, I completely understand. Uh, outside of work here, uh, cost is a big factor for me as well. Um, you know, everything I do, especially larger purchases, you know, cost is, is a big uh, player for that. So I do understand that. So um, as business manager, um, I have to provide you with full disclosure mm -hmm. and um, provide you with the best information. Mm -hmm. So um, I just want to let you know that the payment that you've chosen could be considered uh, a, variable, a variable payment. Oh, let, let me explain. Okay, okay. please explain. So, so um, let's say that, um, so for, for the length of the loan, your, your term and your rate are fixed. I just want to let you know that. Okay. okay. So let's say that you're out of your warranty contract and uh, you're driving your Yukon Denali and you, you mentioned earlier you, you like the lane assist. Oh, I right. love that thing. And you love the nav and oh, yeah. the all the screen. Right? All okay, that's <laughs> Give it all. <off. laughs> so, um, the event that that would, uh, you know, these days with the computers, suppose that would fail outside of your service contract. You know, that we're talking a bill upwards of the three thousand dollars. Okay. So, um, right now your gap payment is five twenty-five. If we were to add that three thousand dollars to the five twenty-five, now you're looking at, you know, three thousand five hundred twenty-five dollars. Right for for that month. So on any given month, here is your vehicle service contract at 555. Right. So on any given month, which which payment do you think would be easier for you to make? Well, obviously the 555. Right. Yeah, I I completely I completely agree. Um, so Peter, did you want to stick with um, a variable payment, or did you want to lock in the uh, the, the the fixed payment at uh, 555? Lock in that fixed payment. Okay, if you don't mind, just circle here. All right. So um, I'm just going to finish up some paperwork here, and uh, we'll we'll get you on your way. All right. Thank you.